We're here to idea you, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, and create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and showing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has discovered an Earth-sized planet in our solar backyard. In the whispers of dust, a fledgling orb entwines a youthful star, the genesis of worlds bound within each uncanny spin, playing out the permutations of how we might be born and live and die. In its light, our past reflected, our future foretold, two distant mirrored pieces adrift across the patchwork quilt of time. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Astronomical Journal, in which researchers have discovered a young Earth-sized planet orbiting a sun-like star, ideal for studying planetary evolution. Understanding the origins and development of planets is a key aspect of astronomy. To do this, scientists often study young planets, which are like living fossils of planetary evolution. These young planets can provide valuable insights into how planets form and change over time, helping us understand not just their history, but potentially our own planet's past as well. In this context, researchers have made an exciting discovery. HD 63433d, a planet similar in size to Earth, orbiting a young star that resembles our Sun. This star, known as T011726, or HD 63433, is relatively close to us in cosmic terms, just 22 parsecs away, a parsec being a unit of distance used in astronomy equal to about 3.26 light years. What's particularly interesting about HD 63433d is that it's the third planet found in its solar system and is one of the youngest Earth-sized planets we know of, with an estimated age of around 414 million years. This was determined by studying the star's movement, rotation and composition using the latest data from the Gaia space mission and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. TESS's observations also revealed that HD 63433d orbits its star every 4.2 days and has a radius 1.1 times that of the Earth. The star's brightness makes the system ideal for further study, such as examining the atmosphere of this young, Earth-like planet to understand how atmospheres can evolve and potentially be lost over time. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. In the whispers of dust, a fledgling orb entwines a youthful star the genesis of worlds bound within each uncanny spin, playing out the permutations of how we might be born and live and die. In its light our past reflected, our future foretold, two distant mirror pieces adrift across the patchwork quilt of time. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading The Planet by Josephine Jacobson. Josephine Jacobson was a Canadian-born American poet who was born in Ontario in 1908 and went on to have a 60-year career, writing 11 poetry volumes, short stories and literary critiques. Her works, exploring human mysteries and physical spiritual connections, earned her the Shelley Memorial Award and Robert Frost Medal. She was the 21st Poet Laureate Consultant in Poetry to the Library of Congress and Vice President of the Poetry Society of America. She also authored notable short stories and passed away in 2003. The Planet by Josephine Jacobson 
from the centre of the sea of tranquillity, a dry sea and a grainy sea shining on the air of that stretched night, a planet. See it as serene and bright, very bright, a far fair neighbour, conceive what might be there after the furious spaces, green fields, green fields, oceans of grasses, breakers of daisies, shadows on those fields, vast and travelling, the cloud shadows, and something smaller in the green grass, lovers in each other's arms still in the green. The clouds will water the fields, the stream runs shining to the sea's motion, the sea shining as the clouds travelling shine, so shine the daisies as the light in the seas of the lover's eyes. The innocent planet far and simple, simple because far, with lovers and fields for flowers, and a blue sky carrying clouds, and water, water, the innocent planet shining and shining. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.